Albuquerque police say a suspect is dead and an officer is wounded after a SWAT standoff this afternoon. It happened at an apartment complex on Tramway near Copper. News 13's Jessica Barone is live at the scene tonight after hearing from police. Dean, you can see the scene is still very active with police blocking the area to the apartment. APD says this began with a man barricading himself inside an apartment before shots were fired. Officers uh, were on scene and due to the fact that there was a young child in the home, uh, were attempting to make entry into the home because the child uh, seemed to be in some kind of uh, duress. The shooting happened around 5 o'clock, about three hours after the standoff started. APD was looking for a man at the Copper Ridge Apartments who was wanted on a Santa Fe warrant and also considered a suspect in a recent homicide. Chief Harold Medina says the SWAT team got into a shootout with the suspect when the team tried to enter the apartment. One APD officer was hit in the arm by the suspect's gunfire. His injury is said to be non-life-threatening. Police say another bullet went through the pants of an officer who was not injured. The suspect was killed in the shooting. APD and NMSP were working on serving the warrant together. I just left Almogordo. I just left the funeral of Officer Ferguson. It's a very unfortunate deal. I, 20, 20 minutes after leaving that incident, I get a call about this one. Um, so it's obviously upsetting. Uh, a, a, sad, a sad deal to have a, that this incident happen immediately on the heels of that one. Just about 30 minutes ago, Chief, um, Chief Medina confirmed the wounded officer is expected to be released from the hospital tonight. His name has not been released yet. The suspect's name also hasn't been released. Back to you. All right, Jessica, thank you for that update. APD says aside from the officer and the suspect, no one else was hurt in that shooting.